It's a difficult situation for a Ukrainian teen currently living in Toronto while her family remains in the thick of the war in Ukraine. An 18-year-old exchange student is studying here, but with her semester about to end, she will be faced with financial hardships along with the worry about what's happening to her family back home. This is Anastasia Sobol. I've been in Toronto for six months. I came in September. The 18-year-old is in Toronto studying business marketing at Seneca College. And while she tries to focus on her studies. It's just so hurtful to watch and I feel so useless here. Her mind is also thousands of kilometers away, thinking about her parents who are currently aiding soldiers in Ukraine. My dad is giving first aid and they're trying to find more bomb shelters for people because there's not, there's not enough. And they're cleaning bomb shelters and they're giving places to leave for refugees from other cities. With the situation in Ukraine as it is, come April, Anna will not be able to travel back home to be with family as planned, but hopes instead that she could be reunited with her host family, who she lived with as an exchange student in New York State. If that can't happen, and with her residence at Seneca expiring, she may not have anywhere to go. When the invasion of Ukraine started, they were really worried about me. And they know that I'm alone here in Toronto and um, they really want me to come and give me a big hug, support me and just be there for me. What would it mean for you to have uh, Anna back this summer? <laughs> it would be like our daughter coming home. Um, we consider her that, our daughter coming home. But the visa process is not that simple. And with time running out, Gamak fears the 18-year-old will be left without support of people who love her during this difficult time. The visitor visa, the B-1 visitor visa that we were looking at, the wait time over the, since the war started, like on March 1st until Sunday night, it went from 200 some days to 359. And on Sunday night, the wait time, wait time for the visa was 505 days. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were shocked. Gamak then took to social media to share Anna's story, hoping someone could help expedite the visa application process. That post has since been shared thousands of times. Just blown away and so touched um, by total strangers that have reached out and, and, you know, they're encouraging messages and offers of help. And, and we know this contact and that contact and here are numbers and this person is waiting for a call. This family, this feeling of the family, that you're there with them, that you're safe and that you're secure, it means a lot. And I would love to come and see them and just give them a big hug and say how much I'm grateful for them. The Gamak family has started a GoFundMe page to help with Anna's expenses along with her education fund, which has so far raised over $5,000. Melissa Nakavali, City News.